we are back. That's right, we are back to movie reviews by Dr. B and Mrs. B. I'm an anthropologist and she's a independent artist scholar. That's right, and we are also persons of color and uh, with three children who are, are adults. And we are <laughs> baby boomers, and this really fits us very well in this movie review. This is movie review of Coming to America. America. <laughs> Coming to America. The sequel. <laughs> That's right. The, the sequel, sequel <laughs> Mrs. B. <laughs> Number two. Number two. <laughs> and we're going to do a quick synopsis of this because this movie just came out with Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall. And we're going to break it all down. But right now, guess what, Mrs. B? Let's give a thumbs up or thumbs down on this movie that just came out. Well, I'm going to say... It's not as good as the first one, great as the first one. Second one's pretty good. They took a different turn, but I'm gonna say thumbs up. Oh Jesus, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know where she was gonna go. I give it two thumbs up. I give it two <laughs> thumbs up. Thank you, Mrs. B. You and go. the reason why, oh, I didn't know because again, let me just preface this and uh, let, let you know. Uh, yeah, I'm a little biased because I'm an Eddie Murphy fan from, from day one. Oh I was, I'm an Eddie Murphy fan from Were day one. Were you holding your breath? Were you yeah. her breath? I didn't know. Put that thumbs up? I know. I didn't know where she was going to go, y'all. But it Pride. features uh, it features Eddie Murphy. It features Arsenio Hall. It features James Earl Jones. It features, oh my gosh, uh, all the greatest actors uh, of, uh, uh, that were in actually in the first sequel. Most first of them. One. Yeah. Most of the actors that were in the first sequel. Practically first all of them. Movie. A first movie. Practically all of them. They brought them yeah. all in. Everybody wanted a job. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> John Amos was there. <laughs> Who else? Uh, uh, <laughs> they were had. They had the all the Garcelle actors. Beauvau. The thing, Garcelle Beauvau. Garcel She yeah. she had a non speaking yeah. role. I was surprised about that. Yeah, she had a non speaking role. Non speaking role. I was role. surprised about that. Um, you know. Uh, yeah, they have a few. Uh, they had. Of course, Tracy what? Morgan. Tracy Morgan was Those in the movie. <laughs> Tracy For Morgan reason. was in there. <laughs> What do you think, Tracy about, what do you think about Tracy Morgan? That would be the uncle that some folks the have uncle. in the Tracy Morgan played the, and in the uncle <laughs> of the new of the new second. But here's the plot. The plot. You first, let me just say oh prefaces. Prefaces. Yes, uh, I'm wearing my little kente cloth. I'm wearing my kente what cloth. On? Hold on, hold on. Let, I got to tell the folks I'm wearing my kente cloth. Coming to America, my kente cloth. The Ghana. The Ghana, the Ghana kente, kente cloth. cloth. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. On up to Have Egypt. to give props. Got to give props to Eddie and. and our culture. culture. Yeah, our culture. Thank and theirs you. And was various cultures Yeah, there. but the plot was a movie. Uh, let me just, uh, very quickly, uh, James Orr Jones, the father, uh, they wanted to find out, guess what? Eddie has, has to uh, make sure that he gives over his uh, kingdom to his heir, and he found out he had an heir who was a male that came about because, uh, how did it come about? Well, let's just say no. the actor, actor Sherry. She, oh my good, she has played the role of Lisa. Yeah. She still looks beautiful. She, she looks great. Really she looks great. She looks great. She looks fantastic. And um, she had a surprise, you know, it was supposed to produce an heir. And Hakeem was supposed to produce an heir and Hakeem cannot. Hakeem was supposed to produce an heir. He has three daughters. Oh, by the way, and those were the Eddie's African real, Eddie's real daughter roles. played in this movie. Eddie's real daughter played in this movie. Beautiful, she did a great beautiful job. young lady. Eddie Murphy's daughter. Beautiful. She did a great job. Shout out to the Murphy. And, <laughs> and uh, yes, and their mom. Beautiful job Very much so. children. And um, so he was supposed to produce an heir. And did, he did produce an heir. And, and did that happen but, the way he, he they produced thought. an heir. It was by, mis uh, okay, as he <laughs> said, bastard ahead. child. <laughs> <laughs> and he had to had to go to America to find his his child. Okay, let me, <laughs> and let then, me. No, we got to get through this real fast because I can see where you're going, Mrs. A, B. So and then, and then, Yeah, but it, then in what they said in the movie. I'm going to be child. real because this is a real, <laughs> real <laughs> movie. Real. Mrs. B want to sanitize it. Eddie. I want to sanitize I, it. Mrs. B, you said sanitize stuff. Dr. B. <laughs> she sanitizes stuff. <laughs> Let's not do that. Eddie wants to be real. And Eddie, and Eddie, yeah, well, there you go. But Eddie brought his his child back <laughs> that went through uh, some stuff and his child from, what was it, Queens or uh, what, uh, br from Brooklyn or Queens? It was, I think a, it, was, it was a good movie. It was good. Um, and he brought him back with yeah. his uncle, Tracy Morgan, and yeah. they, there was this cultural clash from, uh, from those who were from <laughs> 
African Americans and Queens with uh, Africans in Africa. So there was a cultural class. That's what I liked about this movie. Many times you just bring I'm different local. cultures. There's a cultural <laughs> class between African Americans and Africans. Guess what? We could all get together, and that's the reason the take home for me. The take home was that we uh, there is all this misconceptions and stereotypes of. African Americans in all parts of the country, and I think they brought that up from those who were in Queens, particularly uh, Eddie Murphy's uh, child and his mother. His mother played. Oh, uh, his mother played a great role. Yeah, she's one of the, the actors on Saturday Night Live. She's wasn't it? Yeah, really she funny. She did a and very she was the good home job. girl in the she city. She was the and, home girl. And so bring she it. went over there and said, "This is your son." Yeah, <laughs> you don't know who the daddy is, but but it's you, Hakeem. But wow. it's Hakeem. And so Hakeem even says, had to admit to it. Groom, so yeah, groom this young man up to the so African. They groomed him up. The they groomed tradition. him up. But guess what? Just like the first one, he didn't go with the tradition. Now here's the go end, to the with the tradition of the African tradition of marrying the African queen that was ready, that was designated for him by let me just say Wesley Snipes was the other actor in this movie. He did an excellent job. And so, yes, they had to break away from their African tradition. That's true. And Actually, the king's son had to wanted to marry an a African woman, but not the not the designated selection. So the same thing happened again in one. The same as thing in happened again. He said, but well, with you're the beautiful, flavor. you're gorgeous. Oh, you're yes. wonderful. It's updated to the <laughs> of a of a style of the um of the all types of different types of music. And the soundtracks is and by the way, the jokes says, were there. The jokes were well, were, were flowing. Again. They were subtle. You have to watch. Let me just say this: you have to watch number one to get the jokes in number two. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you, you really do. If you if you miss number one, this is not. Let me just say: if you miss number one, this is not going to be funny for you. You have to get there. And the characters that Eddie played in the barber shop, he brought the barber shop scene back when the multiple that carriers, the characters the that Arsenio and the barber shop and scene. Eddie yeah. and his multiple characters that he had to dress up, that he had to put on the makeup, that was hilarious. The yes. hilarious. And so again, and then the final scene when they brought out the uh, artists who were they were celebrating the marriage. And then, guess who was the final uh, uh, artist pr presenting? It was sexual chocolate. <laughs> it was sexual chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and he brought it, and he brought it. <laughs> he didn't break it, and, and he was he, <laughs> look Look at Mrs. B. She's bad at me. It's just a stream. It was a streamlined, ver stream down. It was. Inner city, yeah. local neighborhood, yeah. sexual chocolate version, and, and there was always non always, always one person was trying to always, be always one person that likes Rick sexual. James. Yeah, always one person likes che sexual chocolate, and he was still there. The brother want to be Rick James, and, That's and, and he say he said we are family, and that was the song that sexual chocolate sang at the end. And let me just say there was a special special guest appearance at the very end. By my boy John Legend. John Legend was nice. <laughs> John Legend Excellent. sang the song. He brought Welcome together. back. What was the what's the country? Well, well, too much. <laughs> well, here's the thing. And I want to bring up one important point. Yeah, go right here. You keep going yeah, on, I'm, and on I'm, about I'm, that. We're I'm, almost done. Yeah, yeah, we're almost done. Hurry, with hurry, this hurry, hurry. Film. Come on. Uh, the the point about women, the traditions of Africa, and and you have to have an heir, and it has to be male, and, and that's fine. And then the woman that he has to choose has to always follow his rules. Whatever you want, whatever you say. And then they had to change that. And then he realized even the men who are tradition African, African American and black men, wanted a woman who thought, had some brains that would think not to be trained up or, or um, etiquette up to do whatever the man wants her to do. And this is what the second one also did. Develop freedom for women. And guess and what? And point. guess what? <laughs> that's what Eddie came to that's realize the at the end. Akeem realized that even in his own marriage, okay, and then with his son. Yeah. And then he had to remember what his mom said. Oh, his mom said, the actress that was in the first one, she said, follow your heart. 
follow your heart. Well, and that's yes. and that's what he did. He that's allowed his he son to follow his heart. So with and that said, with, with that, that said, said, with that he said, picked his own and way, he picked his own his way, own wife, and, the one that he and wanted. And there we go. For him. And we are that's a our movie review <laughs> of guess what? Of coming to America, the su- sequel. Of course, it was fun. I'm going to give it a thumbs up, a big thumbs up. And guess what? It premiered on Amazon Prime, and it blew out the box of Amazon Prime, the most downloaded during the weekend. Okay? I'm lukewarm on Amazon Proud, Prime, but Proud, I like Yeah, it. but I gave it a thumbs up. And because I gave guess it what? thumbs up. Guess what? It's a feel-good movie, and it's all about trying to feel good in the midst of all of what we're experiencing in 2021. So thank you, Eddie, and thank you, Arsenio, and thank you. It was funny. Thank you, homies. Keep it bringing, bringing it real. Take care. We out. I am Dr. B. And I'm Mrs. B. And we are Movie Reviews by Dr. B and Mrs. B. And we hope to see you back again soon. Please like and subscribe. We still bringing it, y'all. We still bringing it. (laughs) Gosh, dude. We out.